CFD. Is it colorful fluid dynamics? Um, the colorful part is just a part of it. It is computational fluid dynamics. Yes, computational fluid dynamics. It must be very uh, fluid dynamics like this picture. And of course, uh, very computational like this. The idea of CFD is solving fluid dynamics equations which are in the form of nonlinear partial differential equations and these equations are very hard to solve analytically so we can solve it with numerical method and execute those numerical calculations with the aid of computer. Uh, well, before we lose our motivation to study this subject because of its complexity, let's explore the advantages of using computational fluid dynamics method and its usage in some uh, industrial applications. Okay, it was 1970s when NASA conducted a high maneuverable aircraft technology project and predicted an excessive drag force in near the speed of sound. The redesigned cost for wind tunnel test is almost $150,000 and would pending that project. Instead of using wind tunnel, the project was redesigned using supercomputer or known as a CFD and cost only $6,000. Uh, we can imagine with much more powerful and affordable nowadays computer, we can save much more cost to perform this test. Secondly, without a physical testing, we can reduce or even get rid safety issues such as explosion of text testing combustion engine or high pressure system, fuel leakage problems, emission of toxic gas, higher rotational part, a noise touching a hot object or even electric shock. Imagine we must test a gas turbine performance without a complete testing of its structural integrity or even the resulted emission. It is very dangerous. Okay, and it is maybe the most obvious advantage of CFD flexibility. With digital modeling, or known as a digital prototyping, we can easily alter our model without sacrificing cost for fabrication, material, and most importantly, time. Imagine your company wants to design hundreds and hundreds of various impeller geometries. With, with physical modeling, you must make the mode, uh, program the CNC, uh, prepare the material, and much, much more efforts to fabricate uh, the sample one by one. Because CFD simulation is done in computer, we can easily display the detailed space and time dimension of our case. For example, we can pick the temperature value in its location in the combustion chamber without disturbing the flow. Imagine if you make an experimental method and insert a probe inside this combustion chamber, probably that probe will alter the flow. This advantage is very important for sensitive flow problems such as measuring a vortex flow or a transition from laminar or to turbulent flow. Probably one of the most common problem in CFD is people's skepticism in its accuracy. Uh, is CFD accurate? Yes, of course, it can be very accurate, but it depends on the operator's experience. And comparing CFD and experimental method accuracy is not fair, because they are different tools and usage. Both have advantages and disadvantages, and more importantly, they complete each other. Sometimes we use experimental result to validate CFD theory uh, or vice versa. Okay, to motivate you more to learn CFD, we will show you common usages of CFD in many industries. 
Well, uh, one of common and maybe the first CFD application is in aerospace and defense industry. Picture in the left shows a projectile fly with speeds much more than speed of sound. Hence, shock waves are created. With CFD, we can easily predict the flow and even the temperature distribution without make a supersonic wind tunnel physically. Then, at the right, we can see a rolled up vortex is generated in a delta wing aircraft. This vortex is very important in generating lift and prevent stall at very high angle of attack. This is very sensitive and sometimes hard to conduct such study in wind tunnel or water tunnel test. Okay, next for maritime industry, we can analyze a rotating propeller to predict the thrust force or even the torque needed by the engine to rotate the propeller. Or uh, we can predict the the hull track resulted by water friction or from the wave. Yes, not only single phase flow. With CFD, we can model the interaction between multiple phases such as this free surface wave. And for automotive manufacturing industry, digital prototyping is intensively used to optimize or predict the performance of the parts before it is mass produced. The common tasks are prediction of the drag force of a racing car, predicting pressure drop or noise from a nap muffler, or predicting or predicting turbocharger efficiency. Next, for chemical processing industries, which is very close to fluid flow problems, CFD are widely used to predict the root cause of a problem such as such as erosion in a valve or maybe predicting the cyclone separator efficiency if we want to change the operating conditions or maybe uh, the particle properties okay then from construction industry it is very common now to build a building with well ventilation to minimize energy usage with CFD simulation, these tasks are very common and very easy to be done. Last but not least is utilization of CFD in energy industry. We can use CFD to predict the performance of our coal-powered boiler or even design a renewable energy system such as small wind turbine to be used in rural area. Yes, CFD is very robust tool to be used in various applications. So, you must consider to learn it if you are a student, researcher, or use it as a daily basis analysis tool if you are an engineer. Okay, well, in the next videos, uh, we will discuss much more detail about CFD. So stay tuned.